Hello everybody, my name is Hofstad Stoltis and welcome back to Scourge of Waterloo. Today I am rebeginning the Battle of Waterloo. Now the reason this was cancelled in the first place is because there were a lot of issues with the mods, eventually I just scrapped the whole thing. This battle is 9 hours in total, so expect around 16 videos. This is going to be around 20 minutes to half an hour of in-game time. Let's pause this. Now, for those of you who don't know what the Battle of Waterloo is, it was the final engagement between Napoleon's French Empire and the British with a group of Germans in the, in the Al army and the Prussians. Now, <clears throat> this battle was fought on Waterloo with two, two farms, the Hougamont, La Haye Saint, and Papalot Smurhain, which is all the way up here. There are... Uh, <clears throat> Our original order of battle shows we have one, two, three. We have four corps of infantry, where Druat is commanding the old, the Imperial Guard, and three normal sets with two cavalry uh, corps sitting in the rear. I should have another one, Marshal Grouchy. However, historically, he was sent off to fight the Prussians in the Battle of Wavre, which was happening simultaneously. He was supposed to come and help Napoleon. But he never came, he was tied up with the, in this battle. And the Prussians eventually came in through the Bois de Paris and Fischermont and started threatening the flank of Napoleon's army. Alright. Yep, see, that is the... No, pause it. For some reason it decided to unpause. That was a little bit annoying. Okay, first off, let's go through from the left to the right and show the objectives. Over here is Ray's core, and his objective was to capture the farm of Hougamont and hold it for a while until the rest of the army, mainly Comte de Erlon's corps, shattered the Allied right and managed to turn the army on its on a hinge. So we have the what Louis Soy and Francois Baudin, and these two are going to be moving up on the left of the Hougamont and trying to shatter the left the right to the army. It's important to note, but when I say right, I have to think about from the Allies' perspective, so this would be the right. And so this is our left. So Bourdain and Soy are going to take on the left, while these two over here, commanded by Jean-Baptiste Jamin and Joseph Gautier, are going to head up to the front and try to take the Hougamont. I'll probably just, just send up uh, Soy's division, and attack this side since it's weakly defended and send the ball down to take the Hougamont. It was never... The Hougamont was never able to be captured. It was, the whole thing was under the direction of Napoleon's brother, Jerome Bonaparte. However, he failed and they just kept on throwing too many infantry groups at it until the, a lot of divisions were just sucked in and were progressively destroyed when they tried to take the Hougamont. Over here we have Brigade Husson of the 5th Infantry Division under Ray. Not sure what I'm going to do with this division here. I'm probably just going to move it up to the front and try to flank the Hougamont on this side. I'll probably just hold it at that point. Now, an important thing of this battle is that Labau was never actually brought into it. Labau is Valentin Simmer. Where is he? Select him. Labau commands pretty much all this group here, I think. And his job was to hold Placenoir. He was eventually, <clears throat> he eventually got pushed out of the battle. But the thing is, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be use him in this assault up here. And over here, we have the Comte de Erlon. His job was to assault the Allied center and right left. And this worked quite well until the British charged in under, under Uxbridge and that completely failed. So what we're going to do is we're going to get Colonel Claude Chalet and move him and attack La Haye Saint and eventually push up, push up and try to attack the Allied center under Le Bau's core. And hopefully we can do a breakthrough and hit uh, Mont Saint Jean up here, which is the center of the Allied army. And once Mont Saint Jean is broken, we should be able to rout them. The key thing here is time. This is a race against time before the Prussians come. Now when the Prussians do come, I'm going to take my Imperial Guard and move them up to Fishermont or La Haye Saint, which is up around here. And this is going to form the flanking guard of my entire army, and hopefully they'll be able to hold. I don't need a lot of time, so hopefully that will work. So let's unpause it, and we can begin the attack for Hougamont. All of my units are on take command, which is good. So, first thing we're going to do is move up these guys. 
Oh, no, 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 no. That's Jerome. Stop that. We want Marshall over here. And... Baldan positioning themselves over here. Jamin and Gautier can form up the rear guard. And now we will move these two. We're pretty much using my entire core, the Shadow Hugamont, in one go because the Hugamont was reinforced periodically throughout the day. That's why it was never to be ever able to be captured. It was taken really, really quickly. Now we're gonna get and this guy and move him up on the road and this, this one as well, seven nets and I think these two are still under LeBau uh, yep okay he commands Paraset commands all of that so we'll move his guys and tell him to form up an artillery group along here and that's his entire division of artillery. And what's this? Who do you belong to? You are part of... You are part of Labau as well? Oh wow, he, that's the entire artillery group. We'll see if we can't move them. Everyone. Will that work? No, it doesn't look like it. So we've got the four artillery regiments. We'll move them up. Actually, we'll get them in a column for now. I'm not too worried about the Comte de Erlon because his forces attack at 1 p.m. So right now we're just trying to get everybody into position. Okay, and who are you a part of? You are Brigade Boney, and you are part of Labau as well. So you can move up in column. And you are part of Labau as well. And who are you? Labau. Okay, those two are of Labau. Wait, the sec yeah, you're part of a division, so I guess I'll just tell you to move up this way. How does that work? That's probably going to be a bit of a clusterfuck, but I'll work through it. Okay, uh, still under Labau. Jesus, Labau has a lot of forces. I hope this plan works. It's it's quite quite a risk. And over here is the rest of the Imperial Guard. I don't want to move them just yet. So yep, all this here is part of the Imperial Guard. I'll just leave them in their positions for now and let them move. Okay, it looks ev like everybody is in position. So we're going to take these guys off command and set them to attack. They are going to slowly move up. Do I have any artillery in reserves? Yes, I do. I shall move them up as well. So I really would like to get as much as my artillery firing on the enemy as possible. Because that's the thing with Napoleon, he he absolutely loved his artillery. The grand ba the grand battery on Comte de Erlon's line. The entire purpose there was to try and shatter the, <clears throat> uh, uh, the 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 main defensive line. All right, I think that's all of my artillery done. Now we we'll move up these ones and hold them in reserve. Now over here we have Pius Cavalry. What I'm going to do is I want to make sure that a lot of my infantry sustain, don't sustain a lot of casualties. So I'm going to try and force these three groups, these three brigades, regiments, into forming up a square. If I can do this, that means they should be able to take a lot more casualties because they don't, can't bring as much firepower to the front. Alright, everything is happening well there. Uh, all the divisions are forming up nicely. What is this? That is... What the fuck is that? I have no idea. Now we're going to take Colonel Cloud Charlet and send him to attack the Hugamont. I mean, La Haye Saint. 
Lahay Saint was captured a lot later in the battle, but it should be done relatively quickly since I have a lot of artillery firing on it. This is the Grand Battery, and I don't think they're getting a lot of casualties on the Allied line, because they're pretty much all lying down. That was the uh, uh, main defensive technique against cannon. Because the way to get a lot of casualties when firing cannon was by making the ball skip along the ground and pretty much taking out the feet. So if you were laying down, there is a lot a higher chance of the cannon skipping over you. Because either way, if the cannon rolls over your feet, you're fucking dead. It's either going to take out your legs and you're fucked, or your head. So you might as well just lay down and hope it skips over you. Alright, looks like we have engaged forces inside the orchard. The orchard was captured really easily on the on the battle. It was pretty much the first thing that was done. I'm gonna set these guys to attack. And they should move up and start trying to take out Lahay Saint. What I would like to do is try and capture as much of this artillery as I can. So what I'm gonna see if I can't do is take what what he is and try and charge through that cavalry. Try and take out that artillery. Now I will have to retreat them as quickly as I can. Um, that actually that might not be the best idea. No, I don't think it would be a good idea. I'll tell them to stop and just hang back. Tell them to move. We need these guys to move as quickly as possible because they're right in the line of fire. Artillery has now moved up. Now what I'm going to do is that I think there is some relatively undefended artillery past the Hugamonts. So we're going to send up these guys and see what we can do about taking out some of this artillery up here. And hopefully that will work out in my favour. Alright, they're moving into position. I'm not going to bother to move the Comte d'Elon's forces until the battle is well underway. That way I have a decent idea of what's actually happening and I won't be as scared. Get them up in column. There we go, we have the British Regiment of Foot Guards, the 1st Infantry Division under fire by two of my regiments. And looks like they are being charged. They, I'm not too worried about that. Alright, take him off command and then let him attack. Once the, once the cavalry gets close enough, I can tell them to charge the infantry and get them to form up some squares. Alright, Labau is now nicely in position. I'll get them to form up along here. Alright, Colonel Cloud Charlet, you can attack. There we go. Soy is now attacking towards the Hugamon. However, we still have to clear the orchard. I think enemies are retreating away from that. There we go. They're sitting nicely in position. I don't think I can attack up much up here. They'll just form up squares, so I'll need support. Right, need, now I need to focus on taking out some of those guns. They're going to cause me a bit of grief on the flank. Okay. Now, who is your commander? Alright, you seem to fuck fucked up your formation a little bit. Yeah, their formation is a bit odd. I'm not sure what's happening over there. Okay, that is the artillery. Now 
and we'll set them up here. Alright, attack. Cavalry is set up. Now we can move them in line. Hopefully they won't switch the canister. Just speed up the time a bit. Okay, nearly done. Cavalry charge right up the allied line. And charge. No! No, 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 no. Wrong way, dickhead. What the fuck? You can't. Ugh. Sometimes they charge the dumbest things. I don't know why they do this. It's very, very frustrating to watch. Okay, cavalry in position, you charge, and you charge. They should take out two of the groups. You charge up as well. And you charge. Okay, that is two groups of artillery. I do hope they charge in the correct order. There we go, very nice. I would like to be able to issue commands and pause, that would make it easier for me to take these. Alright, infantry have formed up a square, however we can just rush around them and cause a bit of havoc, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Now I hope everybody on the other side is doing what everything I want correctly. Now we'll retreat and see if we can't bring the guns back. I'll probably have to send ammunition caissons to help them out. Okay, charge and charge. Alright, very nicely done. I won't have to worry about this enemy artillery for a while. They seriously need to fall back, come on. Okay. I have taken a lot of the artillery, I suppose it is time to fall back now. Just run, run, come on. Alright, everybody can retreat and fall back. Very nicely done, gentlemen. You served your country well. However, this over here has turned to a bit of a clusterfuck. I ignored them for a while. Okay, that doesn't look good, so I guess I shall send in my cavalry to charge. And hopefully, oh look at that, they're not gonna, oh yep, they formed a square in time. Withdraw. That is what I like to see. The enemy will not be able to put up a decent front of fire. So we're gonna take two more brigades and send them around. That's it, unless, you know, they form up properly. <laughs> Now I need to take direct control of a couple of these. They kind of fucked it up a little bit. Your attacks suck. March on the flank, you dumb shits. Okay, that's heavily under assault. Good, good, good. Everything is working out seemingly well. These guys still haven't moved back like I wanted. 
I should move up and take out this artillery. Yeah, it's pretty annoying hearing that fucking trumpet over and over again. I really do not like it. It needs to die. Oh shit, we're right up into Hugamot, but they had to retreat, you dumb fucks. Oh my god, it's so disorganized over here right now. Okay, they've formed up into another square. Good, I'm going to move up my artillery now. It's always a good idea to keep your artillery moving up as much as you can. That way they'll be able to shoot canister at the enemy and have extra uh, um, effectiveness. I fucked up the positioning over there. Not good. Wow, I really fucked it up. Nice work, Thomas. Really nice. Ugh. Ugh. Horrible. Ugh. Okay, that should work out decently. Enemy is retreating. Good. See if we can't charge them. Hopefully they won't form the square. Nope, they're completely fucking off. They're terrified. And these guys will now be chased down and hopefully they'll sustain a decent amount of casualties. Charge them, men. Fuck them up. There we go, that's three groups pretty much in the- Oh, yes! Yes, 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 good work. That is the good shit. That is the good shit. Alright, take them off direct command. Come on, you can kill some, kill some more. I know you can. I suppose they're routing because the commander isn't completely close to them or right up their butt or something. Alright, I'm going to end this video here. Join me for part 2 for the assault on the Hugamont. Comte de Erlon's call will be moving out at approximately 12 o'clock. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this. And I hope you enjoy the Battle of Waterloo. This is going to be really fucking intense. S join me for part... Yeah, I've said that over a thousand times. Alright, bye-bye.